Imagine it takes a new AI assistant to grab property details and organize them in a Google Docs, all while you're enjoying your coffee. Sounds unreal, right? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build an AI assistant that does exactly that for real estate agents. It pulls detailed property info from Zillow with just an address and saves it directly in Google Docs. No more switching between tabs or wasting time on manual tasks. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create this awesome AI agent tool using NADN and Rapid API. Let's dive right in. We start by giving it a trigger for that. Let's take the chat trigger. Great. No changes here. And um, before we save it, add a name Zillow AI agent. Then we need our tool agent. So no changes for now. Now our agent needs a brain. For that, let's equip it with chat open AI model. For testing purposes, I use O Mini again. And additionally, we have to equip it with a memory. So it's basically a short term memory, so it remembers what we asked it previously. To keep it easy, just use the Windows buffer memory. Great, no changes here. You could increase the context window length, but I leave as is. So, and then we start by giving it the actual first tool. For that, we use the HTTP request tool. It's basically a universal tool to call any API if it's not already predefined here as a tool. Let's select this one. To get our data from Zillow, we will use the Zillow API from Rapid API. For that, go to Rapid API. I will link the page below in the description for you. So here we take the HTTP request. If you sign up, you will get your, your secret key. So let's name this first. Bertie info. Rename. Add the description, basically the prompt. Use this tool if the user provides an address to get the property info. Great. So then we need the URL to the specific API from Rapid API, paste it in, up to the question mark. Great. For authentication, it's not a predefined credential. We don't have predefined credentials since uh, Rapid API is not part of NA8N right now. We use the generic one and here we use the header of. So for the header of, I select mine, if you never set on up, you go to credentials, add your, basically copy the X rapid API, copy this, add the name, and here you paste your secret key, your API key from rapid API, you get as soon as you sign up. It's free, you can use it for up to 100 requests for free, no credit card required in this case. So then we set the query parameters, name is property address, and we want this as a variable, we don't want it hard coded. If you go back to Rapid API, you can see in this example, it's been basically hard coded. Property address 2762 Downing Street. We want this as pass to Rapid API or get API request as a variable we provide through the chat, basically. So for that, copy up to property address, then go back and we paste it right in. So, and using the field below, and here we paste our JSON.chat input. How you can get this one, let's test the chat first. Let's save this. Just add adjusting it. So if you go back, now you can get to mapping and let me delete this to show you. Drag the chat input in. As you can see, passes our variable request from the chat. So additionally, we have to send some header for that. Go back to Rapid API and copy the Rapid API host. And using field below, go back and copy the host name and paste it in here. Great, looks good. Let's save this. Delete chat history. Now let's type an address and wait a second. Nice, we got the property information for the specific one with the image and even the Zillow page. Great. Now back to our chat. So 
Um, in the next step is if a property agent or real estate agent retrieves property information which is interesting for him or her, we want to equip this agent with another tool to basically save it in a document. For that, you could use Notion, Airtable, whatever tool you want. For keeping this easy, I just use um, Google Docs. So let's equip this with another tool. For that, we call the call in and N workflow tool. Let's give it a name. Then the description, call this tool when the user says add to update a Google Docs file. Basically want a keyword trigger so the AI agent knows explicitly now the user wants me to add this to our Docs file. So in here, yeah, let's keep it in the same workflow. It's easier. Usually would select your other workflow. You set this up, but we will set it up in a second. So nice. Let's give it a name. Google Docs. Great. Now, the next step, this is basically just a trigger to trigger another tool or another workflow. As I said, usually you would set this up in a different workflow, but I will just add it down here. So let's find the execute workflow as trigger when called by another workflow. Well, it's the same in this one, but you get the point. Next, add the Google Docs tool. Um, we want to update a document. Select your credentials, update, and here you can pass the ID or the URL. Go to your Google Docs file, copy the URL, and paste it right in here. Great. And for the text, we want to pass the query, which is basically from our AI agent after retrieving the information from Zillow. As an expression, great. And that's it for the Google Docs. Wait, there's one more step. Get the edit node. Success message. Great. And a response. And success. Great. This one is where I struggled in the beginning when trying this workflow AI agent out. Uh, if you don't give it the uh, success message, it kind of does the, does the job, but will give you an error message in the chat. So if you check, you would see that it added what specific information from the property details you want to be added to the docs file. But in the chat, you would receive an error message which doesn't look good. So just use the edit note in the end to pass back a success message. Great. Let's save this and give it a try. Paste an address of an interesting property. You drove by and ask the agent. And here's the result. Great. It's pretty detailed. Let's ask it in a follow-up question. What's the open hours? and add. That's what we wanted to save in our doc. So I just added the open house hours. Now let's go back to our docs file and you can see it automatically saved it. Sure, you could um, format it better. It's just for demonstration purposes. A production ready version of this would be more sophisticated than this, but it's the core functionality. So you can use this as an inspiration. Great. There's one more thing. I want to improve the AI agents system prompt because as of now, we didn't give it a system prompt. What this does is it makes your AI agent more reliable. So let's go to your AI agent and then system message and paste a prompt in. You are a helpful AI realtor assistant when user asks, provides you an address and so on. Always present a well formatted and full comprehensive response and also describe what we want when we say or use the trigger or the keyword add. And we want to want the AI agent to use its tool specifically for that, the Google Docs tool. So save it again and give it a one more chat. Try the address again. Right, with links to the schools and the full comprehensive property information for our given address at 2762 Downing Street, Jacksonville, Florida. So, and let's add the whole property information. 
the details has been added successfully. Let's check our docs file and boom, yes, it, it did it. So that was the tool for today. Our realtor AI agent that utilizes Zillow API from Rapid API. I hope you like this one. It should be hopefully a nice inspiration for what you can do for your own business or provide as a service to other businesses and in this case, realtors. So if what you have seen has sparked some ideas, but you're thinking, I don't have time to build this. Don't worry. That's where I come in. My team and I create custom AI agent solutions like the one I showed you and much more. Whether it's automating your emails or streamlining your entire workflow, we can help. Just hit the link below to book a free brainstorming session and we'll figure out how to make AI work for you. So AI agent out.